Well, I'm uh, working on the uh, Nova Contours Pro. Uh, basically, I really want to get the chip trays on. Um, <laughs> and so I'm making a last-ditch effort to get a bunch of stuff taken care of. Since I'm so short, it's really hard for me to reach in, lean over the chip trays and stuff like that to deal with anything uh, else in here. And so what I'm doing is uh, I want to get a couple of the things squared away uh, before I put the chip trays on. So I've taken a couple of the guards off. I've taken the bellows off, stuff like that. I forget as long as I'm here. I might as well uh, make a point to show some of this stuff because uh, the question comes up quite a bit. I'm not sure uh, if it's been addressed real accurately kind of thing. I mean, I've seen it written up in that stuff saying, hey, uh, anyway, this bolt hole here, when you get your Pro, there's going to be a bolt here. And that bolt is the physical stop that hits the saddle when the saddle comes back. Okay, that's right about where it would hit the head. Okay. Um, now, I've already zeroed it out. I brought it back here up against the, uh, the guard. Okay, and I've got the guard taken off. The guard... Uh, see, a little better than that. Anyway, so the guard only sticks out about another quarter inch out past this stop. I have an 1.132, just over another inch and an eighth. Uh, and that leaves roughly an eighth of an inch between the guard, the shield, the cover... Uh, and the back here. Uh, it's roughly a sixteenth of an inch. With soft stops, you can pick how long you want it to slow down and that stuff so it will not go past that. Uh, so if you wanted to set a soft stop here, it's not going to crash into it. But if you don't have your soft stops on, oh man, it'll slam into that and it'll bend this up. Um, and I know it'll bend this up because I've crunched that once already. I'm going to zero out Y, and we're going to come as far forward as we possibly can and see what we got there. So just as a rough estimate, if I go up against the block there, i got 16 inches, but I know it's not going to come quite that far forward. Uh, but we will easily get the 15 inches that uh, Novacon says it gets. Okay. Uh, oh, and while we're at it, there will you will find another bolt here. Okay, that limits your forward travel. Take out the back bolt and the front one. That's the minimum you got to do to get uh, anywhere close. I'm not sure what that what the travel is with that in the way. Uh, it's not 15 inches. Now, if you can see it, I have a sharpie mark here <laughs> that I put on there before, showing me where my end is. And you hear that little buzz, that was it fighting it, so I backed it off just a little bit. So that's just a, a guess a guesstimate on a sixteenth of an inch back from the hard stop. Okay. So that's 15.62. There's the probably see it just fine. The machined lip. Okay. That lip right there comes around the curve here. That is hitting the block here, and that and that's what's uh, causing the stop. It looks like you can probably get another half an inch out if you really wanted to. Uh, I don't, I don't know why you would be that hungry for another half an inch. But basically, this is the the quest for uh, <laughs> max travel. So there's the play. That's about the play that I would leave anyway, so you can get another uh, 10 millimeter, pretty close to about 3 eighths of an inch roughly, uh, if you were to take the saddle off and grind that part of the casting away, okay? Uh, not particularly worth it. Alright, so that 15.63 for the Y, uh, that's max travel. So you get a bunch of people who say, you know, it's like, oh man, I can't get the 15 inches out of it. Well, it'll easily get the 15 inches just by taking those two screws out.